Hi everybody, it's Caramel Coco Brown coming to you again with another edition of My Favorite Kitchen. For those of you who are tuning in today, today is your lucky day because today I am going to fulfill a request made by many of my fans. Today I am going to make my famous macaroni and cheese. Many people have asked me, when are you going to do the macaroni and cheese? Even my nephew was saying, Auntie, you're going to really give up the recipe for your macaroni and cheese? And I said, of course I am. People want to know. So I'm going to show you guys how to make my famous macaroni and cheese today. So I already have my ingredients laid out here. I have about three and a half pounds of cheddar cheese. I have breadcrumbs, two eggs, and about three pounds of macaroni and cheese. And I'm going to show you how to put, I'm, not macaroni and cheese, but macaroni. I'm going to show you how to put all that together. Okay, so what I do is, um, and I really have a funny story to tell you guys about all of this because I have a friend um, that I work with who swears that I use about six cheeses when I make the macaroni and cheese and I just look at him like, uh, okay, no problem. And he's naming all the cheeses. Oh, I can taste this and I can taste that and I can taste this and I can taste that. But really guys, the secret is I only use two cheeses in my macaroni and cheese, okay? So what I do is I have already, I have, I use mild cheese and I use sharp cheese and I've already mixed the two together. And what I normally do is um, I start out, I usually coat my pan. Um, guys, I just bought this, this, this um, casserole dish from, again, William Sonoma. It's my Lake, uh, Lake Cruzet casserole dish. I got it on sale. I think I paid like $49. Isn't that crazy? Uh, but I love it. I have like a couple of them now. So I, and this is my first time using this dish to make the macaroni and cheese. I usually put my macaroni and cheese in a big pan. But today I'm going to just layer it up in this pan here. As you can see, my, my macaroni, my elbow macaroni um, has already been boiled. And the secret, I don't know about other people, but I kind of half boil my macaroni. I don't, I don't boil it all the way because it's gonna boil, it's gonna cook again in the oven. So I don't want the macaroni mushy. So actually, I'm gonna taste it for you. I put a little hard in between, um, I guess some people would call that parboiling. Parboiling. Um, in any event, um, I am going to layer this pan, this, this casserole dish with macaroni. And I, I use elbow macaroni, it's the only macaroni I use. And uh, I don't know what's going on in the supermarket with the, uh, the shelf rights and all of that, but uh, Muller's, I use Muller's elbow macaroni. and. Muller's only has like a small section in the supermarket. I don't know why, but a lot of other brands have like tons and tons of products uh, in the supermarket, but Muller's only has like a small section and I'm like, okay, I don't know what's going on, but I love Muller's uh, elbow macaroni. So as you can see, I have the pan completely, I uh, have a layer of elbow macaroni in the pan. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I'm going to do this like a few times uh, as I layer. A little bit of pepper, okay, and now I'm going to layer with cheese. This is going to be so yummy, guys. And I have enough here that, that since I'm using a smaller pan, uh, some lucky recipient is probably going to get like a, a surprise dish of, of, of uh, macaroni and cheese from me today. I don't know. We'll see what happens. This dish is kind of uh, deep. Oh my goodness, the phone is ringing. Oh God, guys, I hate, I hate uh, telemarketers who are asking uh, one of us to get some discounted carpet. There's no carpet in this whole entire house. Anyway, let's go. So I, I, I put a complete layer of elbow macaroni, and now as you can see, I have a layer of 
cheese, the mixture of mild cheddar cheese and sharp cheddar cheese. And so what I'm going to do now is do another layer of elbow macaroni. I really probably didn't make too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. And again, I remind you, when you boil your, you, when you boil your uh, macaroni, uh, don't boil it too long, like maybe 10 minutes. Okay. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. And also guys, when I boil my uh, macaroni, I put salt in the water and I put uh, olive oil in the water. Uh, to kind of separate the elbow. I don't want the elbow um, macaroni um, gummy. I want it to kind of separate it. Okay, so as you can see, I have it layered. And now I'm gonna do another layer of cheese. Look at that. Woo! This is gonna be something, some good. I really should have cooked like maybe a, a pound and a half of, um, So I'm going to do it again. So this is three layers, okay? And guys, for those of you who who have watched my very first video, I, mean, I think I might have said it in my first video or my second video, a lot of times I don't measure, um, and maybe that might be a little difficult for you to follow, but, you know, use whatever you need, you know, depending on the size. Like, I've, I've never used this dish before to make macaroni and cheese, I usually use a longer dish. And had I used a longer dish, all, I would have used all of this uh, macaroni. But this is gonna be great. So, I have another layer of elbow macaroni. Guys, my anniversary is coming up. Uh, and, um, when my husband and I got married, a friend of ours gave us a set of all-clad um, bowls. There are three of them. They're kind of expensive, but let me tell you something. Here again, you pay for what you, you, you get what you pay for. And uh, these are the best bowls I've ever had. Uh, we've had them for 13 years now. And uh, I just love them. There's, there's a set of three. Um, about a hundred dollars. Uh, there's a uh, medium sized one and then a little small one. So as you see, I have cheese left over. What do you think that cheese is gonna, uh, what, what do you think that cheese is for? That cheese is gonna be for my, for my topping, okay? I do half, half and half and half whole milk, okay? So put about half of the half and half. And then half milk. Egg, little salt, and pepper. Making a mess. I am making a mess. One second. Okay. There you go. Okay. When you pour in the mixture, make sure you go all the way around so it's evenly distributed. I'm going to just take a spoon. Kind of mix it all together. So guys, now I have about a quarter, uh, a quarter pound, uh, about four ounces of butter, okay? And I'm going to melt it here on the stove. And here again, guys, um, this is one of my favorite 
tools to use. It's an all clad butter warmer. And let me tell you, I use this thing for so many things. Yes, I use it to warm up my butter, but it's the perfect little pot. For example, if you want to boil like two eggs, you know, if you want to boil two eggs, it's the perfect pot for that. If uh, you want to heat up some garlic with some butter or something like that, make a little sauce, it's perfect for that. It's not too big, not too small, it's just right with the, with the perfect depth and everything. This is like one of my favorite pots. Um, it's about $50. Once again, I got it from Williams Sonoma and I absolutely love it. In fact, I love everything that All Clad makes actually. What people need to understand is that for every natural thing that they took out of um, a substance, they put some unnatural substances in it. In, um, they replaced it with something unnatural. So for example, and I'm saying that to say, I never use margarine. Margarine is man-made and um, it's not good for you. And yes, butter is very caloric and um, you know, some people might not use butter and might not like butter, but butter breaks down better in your body. It's natural and whenever I need to use um, You know, in oil, I'll either use olive oil or butter. So, and here again, if you see, I'm, I'm spreading this all around. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Ooh. This is gonna be so good. I know you guys wanna come over to dinner, right? Mm -hmm. And I have a motto, always say, if it tastes good raw, then you know you got your winner. So what I usually do is I taste my mac and cheese before I um, I taste my mac and cheese before I put it in the oven to see how it tastes, to see if I need anything else in it. Mmm, mm. mm, that's perfect. So the butter just tops it off. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So now I'm going to put the remaining. And like I said, I, I, I made too much. I'm going to probably make a smaller pan for a friend of mine and surprise her and take it over to her house. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Mm. All right. Now, to top it off, I use, um, this is garlic and herb breadcrumbs. But sometimes if I don't have um, garlic and herb, if I don't have seasoned breadcrumbs, I just get some bread out of the uh, bread basket and um, toast it, put it in the blender, make my own breadcrumb. But this is Progresso garlic and herb breadcrumb. And uh, look at that. Look at that. So there you have it. I'm gonna throw it in the oven for about maybe uh, 40 minutes. And uh, here's my top but I'm going to keep the top off until I finish. And then uh, we're good. Hey, my grandbaby just walked in. Hi, Joshy. How are you? Did you have a great day? Yeah. Yeah, what did you do? You went to the mall. You got a haircut too. Watch it, watch the light, watch the light. Are you talking to, the, talking to the light? That's my grandbaby, jo our grandbaby Joshua. Let me see your Pokemon watch. Wonderful, now you gotta learn how to tell time. So now I'm gonna throw this in the oven. On 375, I'm gonna let that cook for about, let's say 45 minutes. Okay? See you guys in 45 minutes, or maybe even less, we'll see, all right?
Okay guys, here you have it, Caramel Coco Brown's famous macaroni and cheese. We were macking with cheese today, guys. Look at that golden brown crust. Okay, and so what I will do now is let this sit out for about 20 minutes to a half hour so that all the ingredients can con congeal and have a great time together. And uh, I'm gonna cook some other dishes tonight uh, for dinner, uh, some pork chops and some kale and turnip greens. But for now, here you have it. Caramel Coco Brown's famous macaroni and cheese. You guys be blessed, and whatever you do, eat well. Bye.